السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah سبحانه وتعالى Most gracious, most merciful الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين We praise Allah سبحانه وتعالى We thank him upon all conditions We send blessings and salutations upon Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم his household, his companions, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless them and to bless every one of you and your offspring to come up to the day of Qiyamah. May Allah bless them. Say Ameen. You must be wondering, I'm not yet married. How am my offspring going to be blessed? MashaAllah. Don't worry. When you say, may Allah bless my offspring, it is an all-inclusive dua to say, may Allah give me the best spouse and then the offspring and then bless us all. So just say Ameen. Alhamdulillah. My beloved brothers and sisters in Islam, have you ever sat to think who exactly you are? You might say, yes, I did. So who are you? I'm a human being. Have you ever thought what is the meaning of the term human being? Adami in Arabic. It is called Adami. Why Adami? Do you know why? Because Adam alayhi salam was the first of human kind. The first species Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created. The first of this species was Adam alayhi salatu wa salam. We are called Adami because we are the family of Adam. Okay. What a beautiful, beautiful way to begin. The reason I start this way is because many of us forget that we are actually related. We're actually related in many ways and we are part of one huge family. Ya ayyuhan nasu inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha. O people, we have created you from a single male and female. In Surah An-Nisa, Allah says, Ya ayyuhan nasu attaqu rabbakum alladhi khalaqakum alladhi khalaqakum min nafsin wahida O people, be conscious of your maker. Be conscious of the one who made you. He who made you from a single soul, from one soul. Speaking of Adam alayhi salatu wassalam. And Allah makes mention of this in many places within the Quran. Do you know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says? وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَاكُمْ ثُمَّ صَوَّرْنَاكُمْ ثُمَّ قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ اسْجُدُوا لِآدَمْ Allah makes mention of the beginning when we created you, when we fashioned you. Fashioning meaning we gave you your identity, your shape. We gave you your posture. We placed all the organs in the place that we knew was the best. And then Allah says we told the angels to prostrate to Adam. Adam was the first. And you and I know that everyone prostrated besides Iblis. Iblis, who was the devil, why did he not prostrate? Because he said, Ana khayrum minhu. I am better than him. I am better than this creature whom you have created, O Allah. From this I learn that when I don't acknowledge the favor that Allah has bestowed upon others, I have developed a quality of the devil. The devil was he who did not acknowledge the favor of others that Allah bestowed on them. People make money. Did they steal from you? No. So keep quiet. Thankful to Allah. Be thankful to Allah. Someone is more knowledgeable than you. Don't be jealous. Someone is better looking than you. Don't be jealous. And by the way, we're all good looking. Subhanallah. We're all good looking because it is so unique that the taste that Allah has kept of what is termed good looking within the hearts and minds of people differs. You might look at someone and say, Ooh, beautiful. And someone will say, What? What? In the English language, they say, One man's meat is another man's poison, but I will not say that. The reason is, it's not meat and it's not poison. 
We're talking of looks, mashallah. You might argue that I already said it, but I said I didn't say it, okay? So don't be jealous at what Allah has given others because Allah has given you something unique as well. You have something, you might not know it, you might not have recognized it, but Allah has favored every one of us in our own unique way. Amazing. Some people are extremely intelligent, but they're not wealthy. Some are wealthy, but guess what? They haven't really had qualifications. Have you ever seen that? You find some people very rich and he'll tell you, I just dropped out of school at grade seven. Have you heard that? See, the yes means in Kenya, we have some of those, mashallah. But alhamdulillah, it goes to show that education and sustenance are not necessarily connected, although we have to work hard and we have to rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why do I start this way? I start this way to show you the diversity that we have. We have the wealthy, we have the poor, we have those who are extremely intelligent, those who might not be upon that level. And when I say extremely intelligent here, it's also speaking about those who pass their O and A levels and secondary school examinations at the beginning, the first time, and those who had to repeat it twice or thrice before they passed and those who did not pass, but they were dropped out for some reason. You are never a drop out from the mercy of Allah. 